Hey YouTube, yeah, I'm back at it again. Figured I'd give you another installment of what I've been working on. Uh, I've got the uh, seat frame assembly here from an old uh, Benson style gyrocopter that uh, I'm going to be cleaning up and uh, putting in some webbing for a seat. Uh, got the uh, this is the front axle drill to accept the titanium tubing shafts all this has to be polished out got the holes drilled in each end got the pivot hole drilled in the center and extra holes from uh, previous life uh, you can see my workbench here <laughs> There's the frame. I've still got to cut the mast off as part of the rollover cage. But I've also got the rear axle drilled to accept the titanium tubing. Got it drilled in both ends. Got my brother in law working on uh, uh, wooden blocks uh, to go in there with a one inch hole drilled in the center. I'll uh, press fit the wooden blocks in, slide the axle tube in the proper length and then uh, drill through for a couple of uh, 3 16 inch uh, bolts. So the front axle is 48 inches, the rear axle is going to be 58. Just decided to do that to, uh, well it's just the way the tubing worked out. Of course this is the uh, front half of the keel tubing, has the pivot for the axle and the wire pad. I just finished drilling a hole, I know I had two uh, quarter inch holes there but that's way overkill just for, uh, for a foot rest. So cut this piece of uh, one inch by 065 tubing which uh, fits in here if I can do this one handed. Well, maybe I can't from that side, but uh, and that'll give me roughly seven inches uh, on each side to put my foot. Now, the tube that I cut this off of already had quarter inch hole drilled in it. Now, I left that hole on there instead of just shearing that section off the tube so that it would look cleaner but there's a reason for that. I'm going to insert a small piece of wood in there, wood dowel, and uh, drill through it and I'm going to put a brake pedal on this one side since uh, I'm going to have hand valves operating the uh, propane going to the uh, engine then uh, I don't need a gas pedal. Maybe at some future point in time I will figure out a way to effectively throttle this if I can find the proper type valve. There's my drill. Bosch. I like, I like Bosch equipment. It's pretty good. Uh, but that's the progress I've made so far. Uh, I've got Aircraft Spruce and Specialty Company uh, cutting me a uh, uh, one foot square plate and I'm going to use it to uh, rivet the uh, rear axle to the keel in a uh, corner to corner fashion so hopefully I won't have to use uh, aluminum struts I just decided to try it that way because that's the area that I'm also going to um, mount the 30 gallon propane tank and uh, Let's see if the TV is still on in here. I'll show you a picture of my engine. I've got it as my wallpaper. Oh, yeah. That is my engine, and that is at Bob Maddox's rocket shop. It's on the test stand. The black tank is the uh, propane vapor for starting. The silver tank is, uh, that tank's got a dip tube in it. It feeds liquid propane in. And that is my Vulcan 50, 50 pound thrust uh, jet engine that I'm going to be uh, 
using to power this go-kart. So, oh, you want to be on camera? This is my big black cat shadow. Lighting is not very good in here, but he insists on some attention and some uh, video time, so there he is. Okay, till the next installment. Uh, by the way, that engine is uh, 71 inches long, uh, if anyone's interested. Talk to you later.